Welcome to Dad's Simple Cooking. I saw an interesting little video, so I thought I'd try making it myself. It was fried banana peels. So I just took a whole bunch of bananas that I bought like that at Sam's Club, and then I cut both of the ends off of the banana. And then, so that's what I have so far. And I'm just gonna show you how I did the skin here. I'm cutting it into three pieces kind of along where it has a ridge. That way I think it'll just help it sit flat on the griddle easier. So I'm making each banana skin into three pieces. Okay. And I'm just gonna leave those here. So we've got these and I have my griddle already preheated to 400. And now I'm gonna spray it with some of that avocado oil spray. I've never done these before, so it'll be interesting. And then now I'm just gonna put them on there. spray the other side of them and then I'll put some of this Lowry seasoning salt on them and then I think I'll also put a little onion powder on them And then we'll put just a little bit of pepper on there. I'm not really sure how to season these because I've never made them before, so I'm kind of guessing here. But this is kind of the three things I tend to put on everything. And then the video that I watched said to cook them on each side for a couple minutes, so. So we'll just cook these for a while and I'll come back in a little bit and then we'll see how they turn out. Welcome back. So, so far what I cooked them on the first side about three minutes, I think, and I just flipped them. And then now I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to the other side. And then we'll put a little bit more onion powder. I won't put any more pepper on this side. I usually just put the pepper on once. But so they've been flipped once. This is how they look so far. The video I saw said that they were, I think it was some kind of vegan bacon, but I'm not going to call them that. They're just, to me, they're just fried banana skins. But we'll see how they taste when they're done, though. So far, they look pretty interesting. So we're going to cook them on this side for, probably, I'll probably give them three minutes, and then I'll probably flip them again. So we'll give it about three minutes here, and then we'll come back. Welcome back again. So they've had about three, four minutes on the second flip. So now I'm not gonna season them anymore. They've both been, both sides have been seasoned. So I'm just gonna flip them one more time. And they actually smell kind of good, but I think anything that you fry with salt tends to smell good no matter what it is. So you can see they're actually browning pretty nicely. I 
think this side actually looks done enough. I'm not going to flip them again. But I want them to be pretty done on the other side where the inside was. So we'll flip the rest of these. I never would have thought about eating banana peels before, but the little video I saw, they said they turned out pretty good. They didn't say it tasted like bacon, but they did say they tasted good. So now we'll probably give them, I'll probably leave them on the other side about four or five minutes just because I want that inner part to be nice and crispy, and crispy also. So. That was the second time I flipped them, and then we'll come back in a few minutes here, and at that point, I think they'll probably be done. So, we'll see you in a few minutes when these are done. Welcome back. So, they've been cooking now for, I probably left them on this side for about five minutes, but you really don't have to pay that much attention to how long I'm cooking them and how many times I'm flipping them. You just keep flipping them until they look done the way you would want to eat them. So, I want them to be kind of brown and look like they've been fried a little bit. So that side is actually starting to look pretty good. So yeah, they're actually cooking up pretty nice. Better than I would have expected. And then we'll push them down a little bit just to make sure they're coming in good contact. I want them to kind of flatten out so that the whole surface touches the griddle. Okay. And then we'll let them cook a few more minutes and we'll come back when it's time to flip again. Welcome back. So they've been cooking for about five more minutes on that side. I'm just going to push them down and slide them around a little bit. And then we'll give them one more flip. These are ending up taking a little bit longer to cook than I would have expected, but I want them to be nice and done. So I'm just going to take however much time it needs for them to look like they've been cooked enough. But they actually look a lot like the video that I saw and they look a little better than I probably would have expected. And that was pretty hot on my finger there in case you're wondering. But I don't mind making a little bit of sacrifice for the video. Just a small amount of skin burning is fine. I didn't burn my finger, I'm just kidding. But they look pretty good, so it'll be interesting to see how they taste. I'm just going to let them sit. I think this side actually looks done enough to me now. So I'm probably not going to flip them again. But I am going to give them about four or five more minutes on the other side which is the side that was on the inside of the banana. I think I'm cooking that side a little bit more because I just want that white inner area to look nice and done. So we'll be back in about another five minutes and then we'll show you how they look after we flip them again. Welcome back. So they've cooked about five more minutes. Now I'm just gonna flip them right into a plate. So, but you can see that they've got nice and brown on that inside part. So now we're just gonna take all of them off. And then, very important, make sure you turn your griddle off when you're done cooking with it. And then that's the final product. They're, they look fairly crispy. They're a little bit hot, but I'm going to wave it around for a second because I want to try it for you guys. 
That way if it's disgusting, I can tell you, and then you can know not to cook it. Boy, that is hot. All right, you ready? Ready for me to try the fried banana peel that I'm hesitant because it seems like it shouldn't be good, but let's see. I mean, it's not bad. I wouldn't say it's the most delicious thing I've ever ate. It kind of tastes like a squash, but not bad. So yeah, if you're interested in trying something new and you like the taste of squash, I would say give it a try. And we'll make some more videos. If you have any requests, feel free to comment if there's anything you want me to try to make in a nice, easy way for you so you can try it the way I would make it. Feel free to comment and make sure to subscribe to my channel and like the video or whatever. And We'll make some more videos soon. Thanks.